God, hallelujah. How excellent is thy name, O Lord, my God, is his name. Glory to God. Amen. Welcome, welcome, and welcome. Amen. To the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. Amen. New Horizon Ministries. Amen. We're it's God's mission and his mission is our mission. Amen. I truly thank God again for today. Amen. I'm just so excited to be back. God has, amen, opened that door for, amen, uh, me to come back. I went through some surgeries and just some things, amen, that God has brought me through. And um, also, you know, usually have my grandbabies, but I thank God, amen, that they're beautiful. They're, they're wonderful. God has placed them, amen, and now has given me that space and that opportunity, amen, to go ahead and be about my father's business, amen. So I give God all of the glory, all of the praise, and all of the honor, amen, and we're sticking with the same thing, Ephesians 4 and 5, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, we are one in the body of Christ. Amen. Again, I thank God for each of you. Amen. For praying with me, for praying for me. Amen. And, and tuning in with me and supporting me. Amen. By praying with me. Amen. Glory to God. Again, I, I'm just, I'm just excited. I'm, I'm speechless pretty much um, because I'm just excited. Amen. About our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, and what he is doing in this hour. Amen. But I want to continue. Amen. By the grace of God, as the Lord has placed in my heart that we're going to continue. Amen. For God's reason, he has a purpose and his purpose basically is for his reason for us while we are here on earth. Glory to God. And I'm just going to go in prayer. Father, right now, God, in the name of Jesus, God, I come before you as humble as I know how. God, saturate every heart, every mind, and every soul. God, everybody by the sound of my voice. God, that you move and you pour out your spirit upon them in the name of Jesus. And God, I pray right now, those that are bound with shackles. God, that you loosen on today with your word. God, that you shake up and wake up by your word. God, that you move by your spirit. God, that you will bring down your Shekinah glory on the lives of your people, those that are wounded, those that are hurt, those that are bruised, God, that you will go in and mend every broken heart today in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Father, I thank you and I count it done. Amen. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. <coughs> Again, I give God the glory. I give God the praise and I give God the honor. I give him the, 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 just everything, amen, just for, amen, giving me that opportunity to be able to come back, amen, many people did not make it to even see today, if some people left before Christmas, amen, but more so they did not even make it, amen, to see another year, and I'm not, I'm not just talking about dying, I'm, I'm saying the, 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 the worstest death that we can have, Amen is going to the lake of fire. And, and and I don't know why I'm going here. Well, yes, I do, because the Lord is leading me, amen, to go this way. God do what he wants to. Listen, I'm I'm this is very important. What I want to say to everybody, each of you, there is no one exempt. I'm not even exempt. No one, no human, amen, that was formed by God is exempt on this. We basically never die. We just go to another place. The body, this body leaves. But that spirit goes to another place where it is destined to go. Now, it is not God's purpose, amen, for us our soul, amen, to go to hell, amen, but the Bible declares, and it is written that hell enlarges 
herself daily because of the evil deeds of man. Now, I don't know why for some reason we think that we just not going, we're relaxed, we're comfortable here on earth, we're not doing nothing. Amen. Most of us, what, what God actually want us to do, that we're not walking into his purpose. We're walking into our own will and we feel like we're walking into our own purpose. But I'm here to give you some new today. Amen. But everything that you plan, amen, God has already and is turning it all around because you're not walking, amen, in your way. You're going to be walking in his way. So everything is going to change. You're going to get ready to make, amen, a zero turn with God because you are going to walk in his will. It's not going to be your will. You're not going to be comfortable around the same people. You're not going to be able to curse anymore. You're not going to be able to play church. You're not going to be able to go and sit in a church. Amen. And not feel the presence of God because it's not going in the church to feel a presence. It's the presence when he overshadow you. Amen. With his presence. When you feel his love. You're not going to be able to do anything but cry because you feel that love. You feel that compassion. You feel that gentleness. Glory to God. I can't help myself. I was supposed to be good. I'm, I'm, I'm physically, I'm not fully recovered. Amen. I'm, I'm, I'm still seeing the doctor. Amen. Just had, amen, this operation. But I can't help it because, baby, when the Holy Ghost come in, it's just over. Now, I may feel it in the aftermath after all is done. But right now, amen, I am good. But listen, we're going to, amen, go ahead and 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 I want to finish this up. Now, if you would look, amen, that this subject here is for God's reason. He has a purpose and his purpose is for his reason. Now, I, I just want to say this as well, being led by the spirit, the Holy Ghost of God. To love God, to love God, is to have compassion for others. To love God, you have to, we have to be able, amen, to humble ourselves because that is part of God. And I hear a lot of people saying today, oh honey, I had to lay Jesus down. Well, you never had him if you had to lay him down because he will help you. That's what the Holy Ghost does. The Spirit of the Lord helps, amen, helps you to be able to sustain. In other words, he bring everything back to your remembrance whatsoever you have read, amen, according to every situation, amen, that you get in. You will learn how to be humble and bridle your tongue. Glory to God. Come on here, somebody. I need some help. Call somebody, text somebody, tweet somebody, TikTok somebody, amen, and tell them what does say the Lord. Glory to God. Now, again, to love God is to have compassion for other people by helping other people. That is the compassion of God. Entertain strangers because unaware you are entertaining angels. You don't know if an angel is approaching you. And we're so, most of us so heady high minded, we just losing out on our blessing because I'm going to finish to get a little further. Amen. Now, 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 Jesus, our Lord and Savior, did not look at people and said to them, oh, I'll be praying for you and keep on going. Amen. But he took time by loving with compassion, doing a duty, doing a service of helping Someone. Now, the Bible declares, if you love me, keep my commandments, not just go to church. Now, there is a lot of people 
in the church playing a role of church. But basically, they are destined to go to hell. Glory to God. It's in the word. It's not about who won or raised the fastest. Ecclesiastes 9 and 11. That the race is not to the swift. Nor the battle to the strong, neither yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, your, nor yet favor to men of skill. But time and chance happen to them all. Listen, basically, the race is not to the swill. What God is saying, that even if you are not the smartest, strongest, most knowledgeable, or best looking and natural, God can still give you success when you depend on his grace. When you, oh, I'm finna talk to somebody right now. Now, it's most of you feel like, oh, my Lord, Lord, I didn't go to school. Lord, I am not smart. Lord, I just know a little bitty things. Lord, I don't know all things. Come on here. I'm finna talk to somebody today. Somebody feel like I did. Hey, I failed last night. I smoked last night. I drank last night. I lied on somebody last night. I laid with a man that's not my husband. I laid with to hold somebody with a wife that's not mine. But listen here. Listen here. When you depend on grace, go to God saying, Lord, forgive me. God is there to pick you up right now. You don't have to look down. You don't have to stay down because God is with you right now, right there. I don't care if you're in somebody else's house right now. God is with you right now. I don't care if you're in the bathroom. God is with you right now. I don't care if you're in your kitchen cooking. God is with you right now. Come on here, somebody. Oh, Lord, have mercy. I need somebody to say amen. Come on, somebody. And say amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Listen here. Listen. Depending on grace. Depending on me. Right now. Lord, I don't understand what's going on. But God is getting ready already right now to stir you up to get ready for his purpose. I don't understand everything is going wrong. I'm being talked about. I'm being ridiculed. I'm being lied on. I'm being misunderstood. But God is allowing these things to take place because he's getting ready to recondition your life right now. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The first shall be last. And the last shall be first. Amen. Those that's planned and don't want to get right. And don't want to re get real with God. Been saved over 20 years. And still ain't nowhere in life. Still doing the same thing. Sitting home. Being complacent. And not doing any work for God. Not getting out there in the street. Not doing anything right now. God is bringing up a new a new generation of people, a new people that will obey, that will submit to his will. Oh, come on here, somebody. I'm not finished yet. Glory to God. Oh, we got about 15 more minutes. Amen. Lord, have your way. Glory to God. Listen, listen, listen carefully. We must get more like Jesus. Glory to God. And I'm not talking about jumping in a church. I'm not talking about throwing up at the altar or in front of the pulpit. Amen. I'm not talking about passing out. I ain't talking about nobody laying hands and pushing your back to your fall. Amen. I'm not talking about that. 
being like Jesus is to live the way that he lived. Even as he was lied on, talked about, misjudged, but yet he walked humbly and he did not say a mumbling word, but he walked accordingly as the Father designed him. He said, listen, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. If you love the Father, you're going to love me. If you love me, then the Father automatically going to love you because you love me. Because I'm the one that came down here as a sacrifice and I died for your behavior. I died for your conduct. I died for your lies. Amen. I died for your mischievousness. I died for your hate. I died for your jealousy. I died for your envy. I died for your strife. I died for your malice. I died for you being a backbiter. I died for you being covetous. I died for you being stubborn. I died for you being a murderer. I died for you walking in unforgiveness. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen, we must seek his mind. Listen, I'm talking to somebody today. I know I'm talking to somebody today. Listen, it's time for you to get back in that place and get back to your first love. It's time to get back. It's time to stop talking about it and being about it and stop looking for excuses. Amen. Why you ain't going to church and you see this person ain't right and you see that person ain't right. Amen. It's time to get out here and be a witness and a testimony. Listen, everybody that encountered Jesus when they was here, what did they do? They did not sit at home. Amen. And got relaxed. Amen. But they got out. They got out. And they spread the gospel. And they begin to tell what Jesus had done for them. And when others looked upon them and knew who how that person was, that person turned others over to come to Jesus Christ because of the testimony, because of the witness, being a witness bearer. Not a line bearer, but a witness bearer. Glory to God. Listen. We must seek his mind. The more we think like him, the easier it would be to live for him and emulate him. And what is another part of the mind of Christ? Jesus Christ chose humility over pride and services over demands. Glory to God. That is the mind of Christ. You are called. You have been chosen by God. And I'm here to tell you, you may think you're getting away because ain't nothing happened yet. But God is going to use you as a testimony. You're going to be a witness because you're just like Saul on the way to Damascus when he was getting ready to persecute the men and women of God. And Jesus had to stop him and say, Saul, why persecutest thou me? Saul became a witness. He began to be a testimony. He began to let people know I was on my way. I was on my way to life. I was somebody. I was on my way to take a drink. I was on my way to play church. I was on my way to walk in my position in the church, but I felt wrong. I didn't feel right to playing church anymore. God began to touch me, and when he touched me, I can't do this no more. I can't sing in a choir. I'm not singing.
singing for Jesus. I'm singing to be seen. I'm singing to be heard. But I can't do that anymore. I got to get right. Oh, I got to get myself right with God. Oh, I can't be a deacon anymore. Oh, I just laid down with Susan. I don't feel right anymore. I can't do this thing. I can't lead and go to Damascus to do the wrong thing. I can't walk in that building. Amen. And do the same thing. Oh, my life has changed. Oh, my tongue has changed. I see things different. I'm walking different. That's because Jesus, you have the mind of Christ. Glory to God. Oh, I need some help up in here, somebody. Come on, somebody, and help me praise God. Help me, somebody, and tell the truth. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Somebody, go ahead and praise him. Oh, I feel somebody just, just took their hands and shot it up in the air and begin to say hallelujah and begin to praise God. God is rejuvenating her back into his purpose. God is rejuvenating her, turning everything around. I don't care what it looked like, but he's turning it around for your benefit, for his benefit. Glory to God. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. Come on and praise him. Come on and give him the glory. Give him the honor. Magnify his name. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen up. Listen. Don't take the day and put it off for tomorrow. Many people that did not make it, and I'm going to finish what I was saying earlier, is that there is heaven and there is hell. Many people that have left this earth and their soul was not right with God, and trust me, it's a lot of them from the church world. But Jesus said, if my people, which are called by my name, if they humble themselves and seek my face, I will heal their land. I will restore everything that the canker worm, the palmer worm, the wormwood, and the caterpillar has taken away. I will do those things. And I'm not just talking about today. I'm not talking about material things. What I'm talking about, amen, is love, joy, peace, gentleness, that God will begin to restore in your life. There's many of you, by the sound of my voice, if not now, later, God is calling you. If you're not saved, it's time to surrender and stop fighting God. It's not going your way. And God is letting you know that it's not going your way. It's time to surrender. You know, we overlook things. We see our warnings. And oh, the Lord and this and that and the other. And yet still we'll go on Satan will come and snatch it right out of our mind just so we can go further in sin and end up dying in this flesh in sin. And we die daily because of sin. Every time we sin, we're cutting years off of our life. Every time we sin because we are going against God. Those of you that is not saved, 
those of you that have backslidden, God has not forgotten you. God has not forsaken you. He's right there at the door. He said, if any man hear me, not. I will come in and sup with him. Jesus is right there. Just accept him right now, wherever you are. And repeat after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I am a sinner. I'm a wretched, undone. I've sinned against nobody but you. And I ask you, Lord, come into my heart and accept me as I am. I confess Jesus is Lord and Savior. And I accept right now. I accept in Jesus' name. Glory to God. If you said that prayer, God has saved you. And those of you that has fallen, repeat after me, Father, in the name of Jesus, I confess my weakness. I confess where I fail. Lord, give me strength and bring me back to my first law where I am weak in Jesus name God has done it now that you have prayed that prayer get up go back to your reading your praying your fasting and it's time to get out and go and do a work for the Lord there's souls that is required by your hand that supposed to be saved if you was getting up. Amen. But God has forgiven. He always take everything we do, anything, anything that we do, and he will take it and cast it in the sea of forgetfulness. And he'll forget about it. Amen. That is the beauty about our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Listen, I thank God for each of you. Amen for tuning in with me. I'm going to go in prayer. Father, I thank you for today. I thank you for this time, this moment, this hour, this minute. I thank you for every listener that listened. That's under the sound of my voice. God, that you will continue to be upon and over their lives. In the name of Jesus, God, that you would mend, mend our family back together. Mend us, Father, in the name of Jesus. First, our spiritual family, those that walk in you, and God, then our natural family. God, that we would all be in the same mind of you, which is Christ Jesus. In the name of Jesus and Father, I claim it done. I come against every spirit that is in operation that is not like God. In the name of Jesus, right now, I come against right now. Every form of sorcery, every form of witchcraft, every form of hate, every form of jealousy, every form of bondage, every form of chain that's upon the lives of God, people, right now, in the name of Jesus, and I claim this done. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I praise God, and I thank God right now. Amen. I thank him. Glory to God. That God will continue to move by his spirit. Amen. Glory to God. Come on, somebody. And just give him praise. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Amen. I thank God for each of you. Amen for tuning in with me. Amen, Lord's will. Oh, I mainly want to thank God 
Amen. For my brothers and my sisters. Amen. That is in Pakistan. Amen. I thank God for your prayers. I thank God for you standing with me. Pastor Nadine. Amen. Rusty, I love you. I love everybody. Amen. Give everyone my love. And God is doing some thing. Amen. He's doing it right now, even as we speak. It's already being done in the spiritual realm. I thank you all for being faithful and patient. Amen. And those of you that do love God. Amen. I thank God for the other leaders and pastors. Amen. That is leading God's people. Amen. For your fervency. Amen. In the Lord. Lord, oh God, I just thank God for you and I love you in the precious name of Jesus and God bless you and tune in with me on next Tuesday at 7 p.m. And thank you for tuning in with the voice of one crying out in the wilderness. God bless you and I love you.